it's Saturday and I am about to get started doing my favourite thing ever, decorating. Some sort of DIY thing. Anyway, today's DIY project involves this beautiful stuff. It's DC Fix and this is in the matte grey I think or something. What's it called? I don't know, it's all different languages, I don't know. I will link it below anyway, the exact colour. Basically, I have already wrapped all of my um, kitchen cupboards in this stuff. I've done a different one on the worktops and this on all of the cupboards. However, we recently had our four floor replaced, which was just like, it still needs replacing, that makes no sense, but I'm going to be putting a different kind of floor over the top of this one. But this is the underlay kind of floor, the kind of, um, it's just like a, a thick lino stuff that's really, really waterproof and things. Anyway, that is on the floor at the moment, but when they came and did that, they kind of ruined my cupboards a little bit. So there's a few of the cupboards that I need to redo with this stuff. And also there was a couple of little places when I did this, it's been like over a year since I did this now probably, but um, I didn't quite finish everything. I kind of left some that weren't really that visible, some sides of cabinets and things. So I'm going to do that with um, some of these. I bought myself like loads of it just in case, because well, because I don't want to run out basically. So I bought myself loads of that stuff. So um, yeah, because it's been so long, I'm worried that I've forgotten how to do it. And also the places that I need to do are a little bit awkward. I also have in mind sprucing up, oh, yeah, I'm going with that phrase, um, sprucing up my washing machine and my oven. I hate them basically. <laughs> so I don't, I mean, washing machine washing my clothes, my cooker cooks my food, but they just don't look pretty. So my washing machine, I just have an idea of um, using this stuff just on the front of it and also my cooker because hopefully I'll be getting a new cooker at some point in the next few months, I don't know, maybe maybe I'll have to wait till next year, but so so basically I thought, well, I'll cover the front of it with this and hope that that looks good, but I just don't know how fiddly that's going to be and whether that will even look good, so just bear with me, but let's just, let's just give it a go. Basically the bottom of it uh, is all scuffed. So I can't redeem that. Well, um, I didn't think taking the stuff off would be that difficult. I'm tired now and kind of want to go to bed. How is that so difficult? I'm glad I don't have to do it to them all. That's literally the only one I think that needs replacing and the rest is just putting on new areas.
go. That wasn't too difficult, was it? I mean, excuse the mess that I've made, but yeah, I actually remembered how to do it and yeah, no air bubbles or anything. I know you're supposed to really get the little tool that um, it's like a little plastic, yeah, rubber like smoother thing you know you could use like a credit card for it just to smooth the bubbles out but somehow I just managed to do it with my hand just laying your hand flat like that you can pretty much get all the bubbles out it's quite I don't know it's just easy to work with the the material and yeah it's just so durable like I've had these in my cupboards for ages now and I mean sometimes you can get scratch marks or something with a knife you know if you accidentally like put the knife into it and scratch it but you'd scratch any work surface doing that why would you do that I just mean if you accidentally did that but like general kind of use of opening and closing the doors and just yeah it doesn't really harm them so I think they're just brilliant ideas to make your kitchen look like you've had a brand new kitchen when you really haven't <laughs> because you cannot afford one but yeah there we go I'm gonna put the door back on now changed my mind oh we're already recording okay right I've completely changed my mind because I've realized that there were some of the little um detailed bits that I was saying that I'd missed out when doing them last time and um, I haven't done so I've decided that while the door's off I may as well just do those little bits so yeah I'm going to do all these fiddly bits now Okay, um, let's see what we can do with this. I almost called it a fridge. It's not a fridge. My fridge is silver. That can stay like that. Um, my washing machine. Okay, the washing machine door's staying on. Yes, it is a few days later now and I've looked back at the footage and realised I'd kind of forgotten that the camera had run out, well, the battery had run out on my camera before I had a chance to finish the washing machine wrap. So apologies for that. Um, I'll shot in a couple of pictures now that will show you the finished look. So this is, yeah, this is the finished look of my washing machine. I think it's just improved the look a little bit, just kind of a little bit more discreet in the kitchen now this dc fix stuff has so many uses i have used it on so many different things around my house i'll slot in some shots now that will show you um things that i've used it for so i've used it on my bath panel because my i didn't really have a plastic bath panel it was just kind of like painted but it wasn't painted with gloss or anything it was just a normal paint so it just looked a bit like unfinished so i've just used a white wood effect um across the bath panel and I've just stuck that on and it's been brilliant I've had that on there for ages I've used it on a table in my games room which I ordered from online but for some reason you order the legs separately but they didn't have like black legs they had bright blue ones so I wrapped them in a wood effect to kind of yeah blend in with the room a little bit more look a little bit more subtle rather than this bright blue that wouldn't have gone with our green wall at all also recently I've used it on my windowsills I don't think I've done all of my windowsills I've done a couple though I've done one in my office room and one the one in my bedroom so it just yeah I'd, I'd glossed them originally which looked okay but oh it just 
it looks so much more just looks more expensive and it looks more done now that it's um, got this wood effect vinyl and I find it easy to clean as well I find they don't collect dust as much as white gloss kind of I don't know the dust shows up on it more it kind of clings to it whereas these are really easy to just wipe over and I just yeah they're brilliant so yeah that's everything that I've used it for around the house I just yeah and I'm sure I'll find a million other things eventually just wrap my whole why even bother painting these walls I don't know I could have just wrapped vinyl everywhere anyway that's the end of this. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope that this has inspired you to give this stuff a go because it's really cheap. It's only like eight pound a roll or something and like the shorter rolls were about five pound each. Um, yeah, do apologize again for my camera battery running out. Um, if you want to know, yeah, any tips on fitting it or anything, any questions about this video, just pop them below and I'll see whether I can answer them and help you at all. As I'm not an expert, I'm not a DC fix expert, I just, find that I really like it and it's really yeah helped improve my home easy cheap updates thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video don't forget to click subscribe just just don't forget just just check in you haven't forgotten of you it's down there somewhere